by this time you must be knowing how to collect payment record it in a database and also you know that there is a possibility of XSS attack but what we have not discussed till now is how to prevent from this XSS attack to prevent our web app from XSS attack or a cross server request forgery we will be using private salt its working is very similar to that of public key and private key in case you don't know what is public key and private key I'll drop a link in description whenever we pass a webhook to our website every post request one MAC ID is passed along with other values first of all we will take this MAC ID and then combine it with our salt and do some maths on it if the value matches our value then we will record this in our database or else we will just ignore it we don't have to do any math because uh, instamojo's documentation provides a sample for that and that works well if we go to payments and plugin there is an integration guide if we scroll down then there is a sample code that we can use as it is just by making couple of modifications if you remember from previous tutorials then these are the files we used to pass our webhook so to give you a basic idea what it is doing it's so here is some math happening in this process it's calculating a hash using our salt you will need to paste your salt in here so i'll just do it right now this is my private salt let's modify this code according to our needs else here if the payment was successful i'll mark in my database database will not be recorded if the request is coming from an attacker we have this hack file which simulates the situation of an attacker we will run it and uh, test whether our code is working or not so our request was not processed let us send it from instamojo's webhook tool i have modified this code a bit so if the query was done successfully then it should pop out success Send the book successfully. It shows success. So we have successfully done it, and uh, we have also prevented it from XSS attack. So it tells us the query was successful. So by that it means that we have successfully prevented XSS attack. But this series is not complete yet. There is one more problem that we need to take care of. If you have any queries about the series whatsoever, then please feel free to comment on this video. I'll try my best to answer it. And I'll meet you in my next video. Thank you.